Greetings, friends and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation. So, what we're playing today is an all Akai situation battle. And what makes this tough is that the Akai is a stealth mobile suit, and all the Akais from both sides are painted in the exact same colors, so you're gonna have a really hard time telling um, who your allies are unless you're paying attention to. Um, the allied tags on the top, and also your allies do show up on your map, <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is really easy to mix up. Um, for the most part, I'm pretty good at, you know, not confusing my allies and enemies, because I, I do pay very careful attention to the tags, but um, yeah, I already got myself into <laughs> a really bad situation, so we're on the basic map, and yeah, what a lot of stealth mobile suits will do is they'll go ahead and jump through this tunnel that connects both bases, and so I was out number two to one in there, so that wasn't really good. But I did manage to stall those two enemies for a long time, so hopefully my allies made headway since uh, they outnumbered the remaining Ack guys on the enemy side. Yeah, so the thing to keep note about the Ack guy is that it is a melee mobile suit, and it can dodge roll, but it only has two melee swings with its claws, and. The most challenging thing about the Akai is it doesn't have automatic balancer, meaning that you can't boost up on somebody and do a melee attack right away. You have to plant your feet in order to do a melee attack. You can do it in the middle of a run, but you can't boost into an attack, so it has tr some trouble closing distance. So you basically have to really do your best to just sneak up on them. Yeah, so. A really effective way to do this situation battle is to actually just kind of hang back and use your missile launcher because while the missile launcher requires that you stand completely still to use it, it actually has very high damage per second. Wow, that that's some serious lag right there. My ally got a counter. Good work right there. Yeah, and we're gonna be... I don't know, I guess hitting each other and tripping each other up a lot because the guy just has such um, like stubby claws and reach and stuff. It's just kind of silly. Oof. I thought I was going to get in counter right there, but... Oh, that was Rob. I think one of my, uh, my allies killed him with a counter, though. Yeah, something that always bothered me about the Ack guy is... Well, first of all, I hate the damn things because I normally play support on the Federation side, so... I, I really hate fighting stealth mobile suits. And the thing about the Ack guy is it has a really short respawn time, which I think is really messed up. Like, yeah, the mobile suit's a little clunky and limited, but the fact that you have stealth and a really quick respawn time just... It just makes it such a huge annoyance to deal with that it's just kind of unfair in my opinion. Okay, so what's happening here is... Yeah, so a lot of my teammates uh, had to respawn, but we, we are ahead in the score, but it looked like um, all the enemies were on the outside, so we decided to play defense instead. And I think this is actually going to turn out um, turn out in our favor, because, uh, because of the fast respawn time, it, it's really easy to defend a position with an act guy team. Not that you would ever want to build an actual team of all act guys in the actual game. <laughs> this is a situation battle, so it, um, it provides the mobile suits for you. You don't have to pick anything. Yeah, you really want to avoid um, starting with the side sweep because it's kind of slow. Wow, he didn't stay down for any time at all. Yeah, th this match must have some really bad lag on it or something. Okay, so I'm going around trying to... A, take advantage of my stealth, and then kind of surprise the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, so I did the exact same thing that other guy did, and I did the thing I told you guys not to do, but yeah, I guess it looks like uh, the lag's kind of working in my favor, and I managed to deal the damage before he got his counter in. Ooh, that guy's really dead. What are you shooting at me for, man? <laughs> Zala, what the fuck? Alright, so right here, the enemy's just um, 
taking a really long time to attack us again, so I'm gonna just fast forward this a little bit. Okay, so he jumped <clears throat> up here, and he's got a, a pretty good shot on me, but the, the claws don't necessarily have um, the range necessarily to hit somebody above you. That's not really good. I'm getting messed up right here. I'm gonna try to eject, but as you guessed, <laughs> I almost never eject successfully, and yeah, let's just respawn. I think here's a good opening to use the rockets. Zala kind of got in my line of fire. Yeah, I didn't really have a good beat on that guy. Should probably try to lead my shots a little better. Yeah, and it was a little aggressive of me to just boost out like that, but what I was trying to do is create an opening for my allies behind me, and it looked like it worked out pretty well. Yeah, so that guy just completely wasted his invincibility frames. That wasn't very smart. Okay, so I'm getting back up now. You got a counter. Let's see. Yeah, so every these guys should be out of their invincibility frames now. Managed yeah, to score a kill. And he's left. Crap, there, <laughs> there's a lot more enemies here than I expected. Yeah, I got a solid counter on him. Yeah, and I'm just trying to... <laughs> Escape from the enemies, you only got a few seconds left. Okay, ejected from my mobile suit and time's out. Yeah, so I managed to survive, but... Yeah, I kind of dislike ejecting at the last second, because you don't get the <laughs> the cool pose at the end of the mission, but... Yeah, yeah so looks like we took the match. Um, yeah, just a little under 3,000 ahead. And 4 did really well. Yeah, overall, I think my team was working together really well, and while this situation battle is sort of rare, I think the better the better way to do it is to play the defensive game because it's just um, it's just really hard to you know infiltrate an encampment when you're just like a bunch of at guys. But uh, the respawn time makes defense really easy. Okay, let's see how we did. Got about six kills. And, you know, <laughs> just a bunch of chips and shit. Alright guys, that's it for my thoughts on the at guy and that situation battle, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.